Tomorrow marks one month since a senior apartment complex in Wilkesbury caught on fire, causing its residents to evacuate. And today, those who live in the building gathered to spend time together in an effort to move forward. Fox 56's Taylor Wharton be joining us live tonight with more on how those residents are doing. Taylor. Aaron and Anne, the residents I spoke with today recall the day of the fire, telling me how scary it was and how they are now more aware. Firefighters responded to the Benai Brith Senior Apartments on East Northampton Street on the night of February 15th. In total, 146 residents were evacuated from the building. At the time, 19 people were hospitalized, one in critical condition. And residents are continuing to settle in after the traumatic experience. Well, sometimes I have a dream about the fire. You know, some people are okay with it and some people are not. Nearly a month later, residents gather Thursday for bingo as an effort to move forward. Tom Haggerty has lived in the building nearly 14 years and recalls the day he had to be rescued. It was pretty scary. In fact, the firemen had to rescue me. I live on the 10th floor, but they got me out. I ended up in the hospital for 11 and a half hours. But those, those guys are my heroes. It makes you, because we had three of our neighbors, a couple of them are still in the hospital. It makes you pay attention when that alarm goes off. Haggerty says the person who was critically injured that night is still in the hospital. Their dog died in the fire. Our pepper. Residents Stephen and Yolanda say when the fire happened, they were out of the building within three minutes. In fact, the firemen were just arriving and we were already outside. And uh, we didn't know how bad it was until I walked around the building and saw the flames coming out of the window, and it was bad. It was bad. And they say Thursday's event was a chance for some normalcy. Today, uh, they're, they're, they're trying to get back to normal. They usually have bingo on Tuesdays and Thursdays. The fire was ruled to be an accidental, careless smoking incident, according to the Wilkes-Barre City Fire Chief. Reporting live, I'm Taylor Whartonby with Fox 56 News, first at 10.